Are Robert? Are none of these people letting on who they are? Uh, John Wink and Bruce McCombie are staying incognito. Is that how right? you doing? Ah, Bruce, how are you? What about, what about switching yeah. off the camera and letting us see you? There you go. That's it, yeah. Hey, what a body, body view. <laughs> Come on, wait a minute, John. I'm needing a haircut as well. Don't worry about it. We could just move it on to you. <laughs> well, I, I that's it in the top. I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Right, welcome. Is oh. is Bruce gonna? Are you gonna show us your mug, Bruce? Have you got rubbish How Wi-Fi, work? Bruce? What's that? Is the Wi-Fi not very good? It's not great, but usually I get a picture. All right. Pedal quicker, Bruce. Pedal quicker. You haven't got a it's video. It's the same old story. <laughs> you yeah, haven't got a video going. icon down in the bottom left, have you, that you need to switch on? <coughs> it worked on Saturday night, did it, Winker? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good, it. Winker. So you've broken it. That's a bit of a worry. Looks like uh, it. Yeah. Oh, on a Saturday night, they're broken. That's the question you were asking. Get a young person to help you. Aye, mate. Go and find a yeah. four-year-old. Now, there's a haircut and a half. That's it. <laughs> been working on it. I thought it was only footballers that could get haircuts just now. Oh, no. I've been I've been growing this for a while, actually. I'm still waiting for my fringe to arrive. <laughs> a fringe, dear <laughs> me. Right. right, Bruce, are you going to give up on this? Oh, he's gone. That answers your question. <laughs> oh, wait oh. A he's in the waiting room again. I don't know how he happened to be in the waiting room again, but he is. I've let him in. He's in the lobby. He's in the lobby. There's him. Back again. How's everybody? Wonderful. How are you? We're fine, thank you. Aye, bored to tears though. These these guys will be working hard from home. Oh, aye. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Right, what we do is, uh, well, we'll just let Bruce do the talking because we can't see him, but he's got a fine face for uh, radio. I'm just telling my daughter to come down and <laughs> fix it for me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's your excuse the bleep machine this that's evening. One, I was just going to say that's one for the bleep machine. <laughs> <laughs> I have to edit that one out. <laughs> it might be the last. <laughs> We're here to discuss and, and talk about your great successes on the Snowman Rally over the years. Or and, even uh, failures. And, and, well, it could be failures, <laughs> or, or even stories at the party afterwards or whatever. So, I suppose the man that's done the most must be you, Bruce. How many, how many snowmans have you competed in? Would it be around about 20 or 19? There you go. I think so. Aye. I think uh, 1998 was my first thing. Aye. And I missed one because there was an engine blown up in a Subaru the Thursday night before we were due to go up. And so I missed that in. And I think that was another one for my son was born. We missed it as we also it was two. So if it's like 20. Here, here's my daughter. Wait a minute. You're about 18 then. 18. <laughs> One concert uh, because of that. Yes. He's, he's, he's asking his daughter to take two hey, away for 20. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, yes. <laughs> oh, look at that. Eh? So yeah. two, away, two away for 20 is 18 then, is it? Ah, but there would be one. Well, I, don't know I, 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 I had one cancelled last year, a couple of years ago. So. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> now, compare that record of Bruce's to you, Sandy. How many have you done? Um, I've done one, two, three, four. I've done five. Oh, you've done five. I've done done five. Yeah. It's not not with Kevin. No, no. I've only done one with Kevin. The first right. year, the 2019 one being cancelled. So we did our first one last year, the Snowman Rally last year. Aye, aye. Yeah, I did previous ones with Charlie Jarrett and an escort. Oh, aye. Which was which was good fun. Yeah. So that would be uh, exciting. It was exciting, yeah. You spent more time looking out the side windows than you did the front one, which was really good fun. Yes. That would be in the road sections with Charlie. Nine times out of ten, it was, you're right. 
So, John, how many have you done? Me, Roy. Um, I've five. done five. Five. You've done five. F 15, 16, 17, 18, missed 19 and 20. So, right. five. Mm -hmm. and, your, and your best result to date is? Uh, fifth overall. And that was the last one, wasn't it? Aye, aye. And I can assure you, Roy, I've had nothing but dog's abuse about Michael winning in my old car ever since. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know what to say anything, John. <laughs> well, I'm just waiting for it, like, so let me have it. <laughs> You've actually spoiled it because I was building up. <laughs> I was ready for you. Right, so, but, um, no, good on him. But um, no, five, five. I was six the year before. Uh-huh. Like John and I were sixth the year before, um, and then uh, fifth last year. Right. And, and your best result, Bruce? I think we got third, was that three years ago, maybe? Aye, aye. I'm trying to remember. So you're all kicking mm -hmm. at the top step? Aye, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's always been a near bad rally for us, no man, to be honest with you. Um, uh huh. And do, and do you enjoy driving in the ice and the snow? I think it levels it up a bit, does it? <coughs> slow are the quick boys doing them at all. Little <laughs> slow boys catch up, won't you? <laughs> but you're one, you're one of the quick boys, Bruce. <laughs> so you must be slow, dude. <laughs> I, I quite like it. You know, just with the ice and I'm like, crack's usually good, is it? Oh, aye. Yeah. yeah. I, but you'll, you'll remember, if you've been down for 20 years, you'll remember the parties at the end of the snowman. We'll miss a thistle, do we? Well, oh, aye. There. oh, the Mercury. Oh, the nonsense <laughs> oh. is about on there. <laughs> aye, a lot of nonsense. Bitterly about the price of drink, but we still drunk it. We still bought it. It was just with good car. You used to come out and pay the car park rally, then upstate, aye, into the, the bar. And the, it was just thinking about this to John the other day, actually. And all the results were coming down the, the, yep. on the wall. Yes. You know, and that was just fine. You didn't watch it and hope you got quicker. There was like somebody coming in and beating you, was there? And you were like further and further up the list. <laughs> so the last time you lads have sat in a rally car, was it at the finish line of last year's snowman? It was for me, I. Mm -hmm. I did hear the return to rally doing it Grey Stokes we am sport. Oh, no, I. Yeah. Well, you are uh, you one of the invitations? Well, we just had a focus, so we got. <laughs> and you, so, Andy, uh, have you have you been in a rally car since last snowman? No, just the finish line of the snowman last year. It's the last time we've been in it. We did a small test day down at Lucas, and that was it. All right. Uh, one of the clubs put on, and it was just a blast around the airfield, really, um, just for a bit of fun. But that, that's been it competitively anyway, just the snowman last year. So when we, when we get back into the forests, hopefully soon, will the skills all come back at once? Or as Robert Beck is going to be setting up the camera at the first corner, could be the biggest pile up you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> <coughs> in our case, we're still looking for the skills. Well, that's the way to say it, I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> as a way to say it, be a boost if it came back. It was never there in the first place. <laughs> No, there was no. That's that's not true. That's not true. You don't come fifth in the, the snowman without some skill. But it's yeah. uh, everybody's talking about time in a rally car and oh, five weeks between events is too long. You forget how good it is. And listen, what's it going to be like for eighteen months between events? Mm -hmm. I, I think, think it's getting our snipping, is it? Uh, is it an opportunity maybe to reset and get out of some bad habits? Maybe. All right. Is this, is this like the golfers changing their swing? Oh, I, Aye. I'm what bad habits have swinging. you got, John? Can you list your bad habits? In a rally car, by the way. How long have we got? <laughs> <laughs> Neil, Neil says I'm the grumpiest driver he's ever sat with. <laughs> but that's saying something. He sat beside Barry Groundwater, for goodness <laughs> sake. He didn't, he didn't understand what Barry said. I bet mean, he was grumpy. <laughs> I don't know. We're just going to be pretty daunting sitting at the, the 5 4 3 2 1 at the first stage. But it's going to just take over again, isn't it? Adrenaline will just take over and we'll be away. 
Oh, aye. Mm-hmm. Oh, aye. And you'll come out, you'll come out to the stage with a smile on your face, oh, saying, absolutely. boy, I've missed this. The secret is to get out of the first stage. <laughs> I'll be happy if I get half a beep in line. <laughs> <laughs> now then, Bruce. After five stages, how's it going? Well, stage one and two, you know it all. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened? Can I swear? Uh, aye. Beep, 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 and we stalled it. Bit. And then? <laughs> beep, 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 we stalled it again. <laughs> Raj. <laughs> so, is it, is it, uh, has anybody changed their cars for this year? No. Same, same machinery? Same focus, yeah. Yeah. Just go the engine, sort of do, kind of as obviously, you remember the role. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you, and if you tell people, oh, oh no, that's on its roof. That's, that's Bruce. That's Bruce McCombie. Oh, oh no. Looks like he's driving okay. Nah, bike, bike wheels taking a dunt. Oh, front wheel as well. Front wing. I remember the shout of, oh no, it's Bruce on his roof. Do all this here was me or damage and we anticipated, which we found out to last year, Snowman. Aye. So it was a reset with the engine last year. Yeah. I, you did the damage by driving the thing out, didn't you? Correct. Yeah, yeah. That was a big mistake. Well, at the time, you thought you, you hadn't lost a lot of time, so... Exactly. You went for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You went for it. But never and, mind. And it was better television that way anyway. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, your, your old car has moved on, John. Michael Binney has got a new wheel set of wheels. So I believe. Michael the other night there, he was very reluctant to tell us whose new car he had bought. So, what's uh, what's the, the future for you guys? Andy, are you doing the, the Scottish Championship as soon as it starts again? As soon as it starts again, the car's going back together with a little overheating issue uh-huh. the tail end of the snow in, so the engine's been getting done in that. And um, we're going to try and figure out how to keep this rear bumper on as well. Because <laughs> we, seem to, we seem to have a, a scenario of losing it in every event, and having to gut, gain it back somehow, so... Uh, yeah, Scottish Championship will be happening again as soon as it's up and running. We're, we're actually going to put a number plate behind the rear bumper, so when it comes off, we don't have to worry about the police stopping us for any reason. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, John? Have you got uh, the RAC in, the, in your plans this year? Um, well, it would be nice to go back and have one on the door, I suppose, I, um, but... Oh, you've got to defend your position. I presume you mean Wales Rally GB confused me there. When did he buy an historic? But there's not going to be a Wales Rally GB. No. So it'll be, it'll be next year, will it? And it's going to be in Ireland on tarmac. Is that right? Maybe? All oh, right. Aye, well, that's, that's the story. It's looking uh, like it at the moment. Aye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, have they scrubbed yeah. Rally yeah. GB for this year? Yeah. Well, they have. No, I didn't no, know that. Yeah. All right. So shame, is it? So it's a shame. Right. Well, you you could be champion for three or four years then by the time they get back to the in the forest make, again. Make, makes up for my shit result, Snowman last year. <laughs> Undefeated. Hey, do you, do you fancy going to Ireland to do Rally GB in Ireland? You know what I do fancy doing is Ypres. Oh, aye. Uh huh. Um, Neil, Neil, obviously. Would quite like to do it again as well, but <clears throat> I don't know. I'll just it wouldn't be this year, but we'll maybe I've spoken to John Morrison a bit about it, and he's he obviously loves doing it as well. And I'd be quite yep. a good, quite a good laugh. But see, once you've had eighteen months, of, you know, when we were in the thick of the rally and with the Scottish Championship, and we're maybe doing the odd BTRDA event and doing GB, if somebody said to you, "Oh, you want to go and do it?" you go, "Ah." No, because we've got the Grampy in the week after, and we've got this, and we've got that. See, when you haven't been doing anything for 18 months, right. you're just going to enter everything that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> it's up and ready, like, it just, it's a social side, 
the crack, getting the car ready, and then Wood being here um, at the rally car for a fortnight beforehand, getting it ready, good crack, you know, Brian and my old man, everybody here helping. Yep. Um, works absolutely manic to get time to go away, but it's all just a good hype. Go to the event, yep. you meet other boys, good laugh, yeah, beer, fantastic events, and then all of a sudden, nothing. Nothing. So, it's, I think anybody that was on the fence about should I enter, should I not, uh, previously, we'll just be going for it <clears throat> if, the, if, if we can afford it, you know. Well, you, you, you're doing all this work because I take it you're still busy in the, the drawing board, producing right. all this work, making a fortune, and all you're going to do is hand it over to the government if you don't go and spend it, John. Right. So, so I'll give it to you guys instead. <laughs> that's a game. That's a game. <laughs> Robert, you pair of cartons. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Steady. We don't, we don't see any of this money, John. You know, the <laughs> curtains are only 20 year old. What are you talking about? <laughs> Bags of life in them yet. What's your plans, Bruce? Ah, uh, we'll be back good. We are just part of the fittings, are we? Absolutely. Aye. If, if no, it'll be retirement full time. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, put your records in there on first. Are we going to get the grant in or anything before that? Or? Well, I've I've spoken to uh, event organisers fairly regularly. Uh, Argyle are still hopeful. Okay. The Scottish is so 50-50. <clears throat> and the Grampian is very hopeful. Now, the, the reason why I think Argyle are so hopeful is that uh, Danoon are very keen to have the rally there. Uh, and they've got a, a stage through the town similar to uh, Tobermory and Mull. Okay. So it'll be a, an exciting event, if nothing <clears throat> else. Uh I do, I do feel a bit sorry for uh, Argyle because the stages, the forest stages across there, I think, are fantastic. But like everything else, you either be up a hill or down a hill. <laughs> a lot of level and <laughs> rallying, so it could be quite exciting. Uh, I don't know what the route is after the noon, but uh, I'm quite sure it'll be an exciting uh, trip. Why have they opted for tarmac? What's the attractions? The, the forest you don't want us across there. Okay. They made it. They made it very awkward last year. The struggle uh, for entries as well, Bruce. I mean, you, you can't yeah. ignore that fact, you know. Um, no matter how good the stages were, it, it it seemed to be struggling to get entries. I don't know. It's it's a bit like our experience with America in the park back in the day. If you don't have a big local contingent rallying, you struggle to get entries. Yeah, uh, they don't have a big forest contingent in Argyle. They've probably got a a reasonable tarmac contingent, which is desperate because these stages across there were fantastic stages. Oh yeah, absolutely. One of the, uh, some of the best. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And, uh, they rallied on there for two or three years. It was it was clear that that they were getting better. <laughs> the, uh, the, the more the more use they were getting um, on, the, on the on the rallies, they were getting better. Are they going to get? A no, 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 next year, next year. Not if you want one in 2022, year. you're not, no. Uh, uh, I've got your time to hone my skills. See, see, when you do finally retire, Bruce, you should come on to the organising committee of a rally and see how easy it is, and then right. you'll not say things like that. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is, Bruce, you've had 20 years to hone your skills. If you haven't got it honed by now. <laughs> Thanks very much for your contribution. Good to see you guys. Take care. Yeah, Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.